So today, what I would like to do is show um, custom rule uh, that one can set up in the Google Ads editor and use it every time you want your Google editor to alert you um, as to potentially some uh, violations or un unwanted things uh, happening in your account. Um, so I am going to go to the test account that we have here at 415. We usually use it to test things. Uh, one example of a custom rule that uh, we thought about that I was would like to uh, demonstrate today is we unfrequently want our display campaigns to run with targeting optimization on. So what I want to do is I want my accounts every time I go in uh, to um, for the editor to scan my accounts and campaigns and actually alert me to the fact that maybe some of my display campaigns have switched to running with targeting optimization on or um, really there is any amount of custom rules you can set up in your Google, Ad, Google Ads editor and save the rule and copy it over into any account that you uh, might want to be sort of scanning and figuring out what's going on. Um, this is a way to turn your Google Ads editor into from a uh, passive uh, database interface to an active assistant. You'd go in and you'd see these little alert icons that I'm pointing to here, uh, which would tell you that on a campaign level, on an ad group level, on any detailed level that you've set up your rule at, uh, there is some sort of violation going on and it's up to you to go fix it or to uh, maybe ignore the alert, etc. So I've set up a rule for the Google Ads editor to alert me every time I am in the account that the optimization uh, targeting is happening in my display campaigns. The way I did it and here is the test rule that I've set up is first I have named the rule called it test custom rule um, then I've set up uh, the message that I want the editor to show to me um, the alert message which would make it clear to me what it is that it's alerting me about so it would read in my warning display is running targeting optimization I chose the level to which it would apply. Um, targeting optimization can uh, run on an, ad group lab, on an ad group level. Therefore, um, I am applying the custom rule on an ad group level. And I set my violation criteria. I said that I want those ad groups to be enabled. I want the campaigns not to be, notice this, little negative sign before the equal sign. I wanted the campaign status not contain ended or removed, so everything else. Um, the campaign type, I need to specify that it's a display campaign. And then the targeting optimization. So as you set up your rules, for instance, you decide the criteria is targeting optimization. The editor will then give you a few options. So targeting optimization is either disabled or it's running on two different um, um, approaches, conservative versus aggressive. So uh, I want to know whether or not my rule is uh, my targeting optimization is running on either conservative or aggressive. And that's the way I chose to uh, set up the rule. This is a user-defined rule. It's a custom rule as opposed to all the built-in rules that you get your editor with. And then what I want the editor to do is not to prevent from posting, but just to give me a warning, a notification. And I've enabled my rule. And as soon as I've enabled it, it uh, was saved in the shared library, Google Editor's uh, part of my uh, in the shared library part of the Google Editor under the custom rules. Next, I'll talk about the built-in rules and what they represent and why we um, SEO managers like to use them. 